Malaria in pregnancy is a major public health issue across sub-Saharan Africa. It contributes to the death of 10,000 women and causes 100,000 newborn deaths each year. The risks are intensified by poor access to health facilities and under-resourced health workers. In fact, the World Health Organization recommends that pregnant women should not only sleep under an insecticide-treated net every night, but that from the fourth month of pregnancy should receive anti-malarial drugs once a month for at least three months to protect themselves and their unborn child. Where facilities exist and mothers are aware of the risk malaria poses to them and their babies, the story can be a positive one. In Uganda, where malaria is highly prevalent throughout the year, Madina is at risk every day of her pregnancy. Luckily, the antenatal services are a short walk away from her village. Here, she receives information about the disease and how it spreads, as well as regular preventative anti-malarial medicine. She also receives a free mosquito net. Once she understands the benefit, Madina is easily convinced that the antenatal services are worth using to keep her and her baby safe. Although antenatal facilities have been increasingly available, some mothers still face barriers to using them even when they are close by. Those who have not received any health information may not understand the risk malaria poses. Some may have misinformation leading to fear or anxiety about what antenatal services entail, a fear of being judged by health workers or misinformation and apprehension concerning the medicines. Other inhibiting social factors can include their own cultural beliefs or reluctance or refusal by other family members to allow them to attend. Malaria Consortium is working with national partners to ensure messages around malaria and services available reach not only the pregnant women, but also their families and influences. We are training community health workers to explain and reassure mothers about services and medicine they would receive. We also engage with schools and with community, religious and cultural leaders so that once they understand the benefits, they will encourage mothers to attend. What we want to do now is scale up this work so that more and more vulnerable women not only use the antenatal services, but keep coming back for the full term of their pregnancy. As it is, currently only 31% receive the recommended three plus doses of preventive anti-malarial medication in sub-Saharan Africa. With government commitment and donor funding, we can reach the remaining 69% to understand and address their particular barriers. Without this, babies will continue to suffer from low birth weight and pregnant women and their babies will continue to die from malaria.